not our curricula are created equal. We see other boot camps that teach 20 plus technologies and degrees that only teach C++. At CODEP, we reverse engineer our curriculum to meet the needs of our hiring managers. We find out what skills they need on their team and brought it to life. By focusing on the enterprise stack of Java, we're able to prioritize depth of knowledge over breadth while instilling the best practices for debugging, learning new technologies, and problem solving. We think the next group of developers have the depth of knowledge you're looking for. Here's Team Social Code, made up of Emily, Sun, Delane, and Ronald. Hi, my name is Emily Bowersox, and I worked with Delane LaBeouf, Sung O Lee, and Ronald Palencia to develop Social Code. We develop Social Code for the student who is learning how to code online and is looking for real life connections to be able to study and collaborate together. And Social Code provides just that. It's a one-stop platform where students can come together and easily schedule study sessions with other coders. I'm gonna pass you over to Delane, who's gonna tell you more about our design process. Hi, my name is Delane LeBeauf. My contribution to Social Code included storyboarding, wireframing and basic graphic design. I implemented styling and responsiveness with CSS and Bootstrap. I called on events with jQuery. I manipulated the database with Java and Spring Boot, and I brought those results to the view with Timely. I also participated in integration testing. Now let's head over to the browser and check it out. In the planning phases of social code, I used Envision for storyboarding and wireframing, as well as Canva for basic graphic design and mockups. Upon conceptualization, we wanted a clean aesthetic that is user-friendly with a modern social media appeal. I achieved this using CSS, bootstrap carts, and adding box shadowing for visual depth. One of my favorite parts about programming is creating a website that is fully responsive upon multiple screen sizes. Here's our mobile view, our tablet, as well as our full screen laptop. I also created our user profiles with a clean aesthetic and a clutter-free news feed, and I added 50% radius on our profile pictures. As a user, I'm gonna to wanna to keep up with other users in the community. Here is Sung Il Lee. I see that he's leaning towards backend development using Java. I would like to keep up with his opportunities for study sessions. I'm gonna follow him using a feature I created using the CRUD paradigm to link a user and follower inside our database using MVC and displaying it to our browser with Timely. That concludes my con contribution. And speaking of Sung Illy, let's pass it over to him so he can share his experience. Thank you, Delane. Hi, my name is Sung Illy. I focused on integration of Spring Security that gives validation to users for different options, as well as registration, view all users, custom error pages, and custom queries for search functionality. <clears throat> I set up the basic structure of users models, controllers with Emily by using MVC design and assisted the integration test. Also pair programming with my teammates Ronald to implement the API, which he will discuss detail later. Today, I'm going to take you through the registration page where I implemented checks for duplication of email address and validation of password fields so that they are matching. In the interest of time, I have created an account. After logged in, there is a view all users page inside of community on the net bar, as well as in the card view users. So I'm going to go ahead, click view users where I can view all users, as well as search users by either first and a last name. So I'm going to search RO to see what brings up. Oh, I do see Ronald. I remember we had pair programming. I would like to see what he's up to. So when I click view profile, it will show you a single user view with all the events he created. From here, I'm going to bring my teammates, Ronald, who created these cool features. 
Thanks, Songil. Hi, everyone. My name is Ronald Palencia, and I'm here to demonstrate my backend contributions, which were assisting in model and controller design, specifically in the single event view, which has the RSVP and commenting functionality. Songil and I collaborated to implement the full calendar library as well as the integration of the Mapbox API. Google profile page, let's go ahead and navigate to the navbar. In the search bar, the user has the ability to search based on title, content, creator of the event, or category. I'm going to demonstrate searching for an event under the title, New. Oh look, here's an event. Let's select View Event to see when it's taking place. In the single event view, we have the title, event date, and category. Social code users have the ability to comment on this event. When a user has decided that they would like to attend, they can RSVP on this event. And as you can see, the profile picture of the attendee is rendered on this page. Let's say you're new to programming and don't know what event to search for. Well, if we navigate back to the now bar, select on community, view calendar. This calendar will show you all the events that are occurring this month. The event are automatically updated onto the calendar as soon as a new event is created. This feature was achieved by implementing the full calendar library and generating a JSON response from the controller. And in the front end, perform an AJAX request to consume the event data and render onto the calendar. Social code have the ability to track well where all of our community members are from. And this was achieved by the integration of the Mapbox API. That's all for me today. I'm going to hand it off to my teammate, Emily. All right, so the Spring security that I implemented requires you to be a logged in user to view most of our site. So now that we're logged in, we can go to our profile page. And so on every profile, it's going to display the user's information as well as anchor tags that will take you to the social media accounts once you've put those in. And if you're the creator of your profile, you are able to go in and edit that. So you can update all the fields here. And then I also integrated an API called FileStack that allows you to upload a picture from your computer, from Instagram or Facebook. Um, so you're able to upload that to replace our default profile picture. Okay. And then I also created an About Us page so that you can get to know more about our team of developers and our process in creating social code. And so here's some information about the technologies that we used, as well as an example of some of the integration testing that we did to ensure the connection between our model view and controller units. So yeah, if you are a student looking for an online place to make some IRL connections and study together, we would love to have you join our social code community. And our team of developers had a really great time working on this project. And so if you would like to get to know more about our team um, or get in contact with with us, we have all of that information right here. And so yeah, we would love to hear from you. Um, thank you for taking the time to visit Social Code.